Howie the Butcher here with an old idea but a new product and that's boneless pork. We're going to make jerky out of boneless pork loin. So first of all I'm going to take this boneless pork loin, half a loin actually, and I'm going to trim all of the fat off of it, every bit of it. After I do that I'm going to put it in the freezer for a oh, half hour or a little longer to firm it up because I don't have a slicer. I'm going to slice it by hand. It'll help me make it nice even slices. So once I'm done with that portion, we'll be back and we'll go over the seasoning and so forth. Okay, here we go. I had it in the freezer for about 50 minutes and it really sliced really nice for me. It's an 8 to 3 16 so it should really dry nice for me. Okay, so now the seasoning. I use the same seasonings that I use on the ground beef jerky. Uh, which you can buy off the internet, but each packet is supposed to be for two pounds This is roughly four pounds of meat. So two packages obviously now I always like to spice it up. Yeah, everyone knows that from watching my videos Start with two two tablespoons of, of pepper Two tablespoons of garlic powder two tablespoons of onion powder a half a tablespoon of chipotle seasoning so just to give it a little bit of fire which I like you can add more, you can leave it out, whatever you like. So now, oh and I did use a cup of water and then I mixed all the seasonings together. So a couple side notes. It is recommended that for game meat, wild game meat or pork that you freeze it for 30 days at zero or below. Now I, I did it for this for a couple of reasons, well one reason. Uh, my dehydrator goes to 145 degrees, which is considered fully cooked when it comes to pork, okay? So it should not be any problem with, with any safety issue. So um, I'll go ahead and put it in my marinade. Use a plastic container. Don't, you don't want to use metal with the uh, quick here and so forth. It might react to it. Alright, I'm going to mix it in my marinade. And I'm going to leave it overnight. Let them seasoning soak in really good. So we'll do that overnight. Tomorrow we'll put it on the dehydrator and give it a whirl. I got the loin sliced really nice and thin and I dredged it in the marinade and I made sure both sides were covered when I dipped it in the marinade. Okay, each piece. Then I put it in the plastic container, covered it, and I only left it for 8 hours. It recommends 12 to 24, but it, it was plenty good, I thought. So, anyway, it turned out beautiful. Um, drying time, I started checking it in 5 hours. And some of the ones that were thinner sliced were done already. And some of the thicker ones I need to leave. How do you know it's dry enough? It doesn't have any give to it whatsoever. It's completely dry. It just turned out beautiful. It really did. This whole pan was four pounds of meat. This whole thing with the spices and everything was less than 20 bucks. I mean, the heck of a deal. It really is. So, I uh, hope you enjoy this recipe. Storage. I just put it in Ziploc bags and keep it in the refrigerator. Uh, it should keep quite a while, I'm not sure. It's the first time for me, but it turned out great. Until next time, if you don't know meat, know your meat man.